I am adjusted and I am live. How are you guys doing this morning? Yes, I just dropped a little bit of CBD oil. Um, and it's probably going to stain the rug pretty good. But, you know, it was already stained when we got here. So that's part of the tough shit rule of spilling shit. Um, and my lovely and talented uh, tell. Hello. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. I know, I know, I know. Well, it is what it is. So good the morning. The carpet is very calm. Yeah. Uh, your grammar is a reflection of your image. I agree. And when someone, when, when I thank somebody. Does Justin have a way to get it out of carpet? I don't know. Justin, how do you remove carpet stains with CBD oil? Uh, yeah, I know. I was going to use the grape this morning, but it seems like I'm graped out. I'll try it. I'll give it a little bit of a shot. Though. There's still some left. Boom, grape. Now, tell me what you do when something goes a little bit wrong just before game time. Not a whole lot wrong, just a little bit wrong. Not a big deal. He spilled something. Who cares? The dog. <laughs> hey, Jen. Yeah. Zoe will be calm. Yeah. So Zoe's licking it up off the floor. That's pretty cool. Um, in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. Albert Einstein, look at the problem as an opportunity to become a better version, hold it, a better version of yourself to grow and overcome Justin Benton. Now that's how you're supposed to do it. That is how you're supposed to do it. You quote Albert Einstein and then you quote your damn self. <laughs> okay, cool. Good morning. Good morning. Man, are we here this morning? This is really good. Uh, in sales, it's not what you say. It's how they perceive what you say. Starting strong. Start strong. Be positive. Play the part. Look the part. And lead with your heart. Cynthia Mannion. Woo! Another shot. Very well done. And Charles, good morning. And Larry, good morning. And Lorna, good morning. And Toru, of course, good morning. And <laughs> Teresa and all these peeps are coming on first thing in the morning. But I want to, my, my subject of the day is, is um, I think, demanding of your intention or your attention. I'm going to talk this morning about relaxed productivity. I'm at the beach. I'm producing like hell. But Joe Soto's coming today. My buddy and Lene, I think one of their kids is coming, and Jen is here, and Gabrielle is here, and we have, but we have to focus in on what's happening right for us. What are we going to do to overcome the situations that exist right now? See how the Anibu fits in there? Isn't that cool? Like, that's that, and that's that, and I'm here. If I move back just a little bit, I think it'll actually be better. Oh, yeah. And I have my uh, Yes Attitude shirt on that was given to me by the great Ron Goodwin, um, friend of friend of everything and everyone. Um, Got to put these lids back on a little bit tighter. Huh? Dumb. I mean, I really screwed this carpet up. Uh, there has to be a way, though. There's got to be something that happens that makes it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Now I'm adjusted. So I want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to understand relaxed productivity. I think that when you are in genuine relaxed mode, you can produce more. It's that simple. And I think that when you're in relaxed mode, you can think clearer. And I think when you're in relaxed mode, you don't feel the pressure of making something else happen. You don't feel the need to be able to um, uh, do it by 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm relaxed. I can do whatever I want. I choose to do it now. So with those choices comes an ability for you to produce more on a regular basis. 
So I wake up in the morning, I don't care what time it is, I sit down with my laptop and I produce because I don't have a deadline. I don't have an appointment to start. Well, I have to be here at 9.59, but that's my only thing. And I, have a, my, I don't have to remember. My phone tells me it's, I got 20 minutes to go, and then it tells me I got three minutes to go, and then I go. Now, I've been doing that for so many mornings that it's second nature now. See, that's the deal. Your grammar is a reflection of your image, good, bad. You have made an impression. Like all impressions, you're in total control. Jeffrey, you remember my mother always said, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, so make sure you control the simple things. Cynthia Mannion, excellent and well done. And Mike was first and Jim was second on uh, YouTube and then Facebook, boom, boom, boom. And there you go. Yes, a wonderful alternative to know. Here are 3.5 ways the new normal course will help you get better. Whoa, better virtual conference, better. This is so good. Thank you so kindly. I think I'll save that testimonial. And I think I'll play it a thousand times across the world. And boom. So you get what you deserve in this world. And all I'm trying to do is put out enough great information that affects my productivity, affects my ability to relax, and it affects your income as well. And when you have enough money, you relax. When you don't, you're scrambling for money and you know it. I believe that if when, when money is short, you spend 30% of your time scrambling for dollars. I mean, scrambling for dollars. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, and let's see, Dan is here. Calm carpet. I love it. <laughs> it doesn't have Dan new a new look. I love Dan. Dan changes his look all the time. Totally cool. Good morning. Great coffee talk this morning. Great looks like Kellen. Deep breath. Yeah, I'm cool. I don't really appreciate what, what the yes, the residential cleaning guy. Exactly. How how the C B D oil out of carpet. Now I think I gotta ask Justin because he's the C B D guy. I'll come to his comments and we'll see what happens. Bruce, good morning. Forget about it. Just refocus and keep going. Exactly. Ron, we don't cry over spilt CBD oil. <laughs> Okie dokie. And Emily, what's going on? Love your book. Thank you very kindly, Emily. Mike, what's going on with you? Got to go with the flow. Can't get flustered or frustrated. Yep. Shake it off and go. And that's the whole deal. Good morning from Alabama. Good morning from Fayetteville, Georgia. Thank you for serving. Good morning from Leesburg. Today, hustle get shit done day. I love that. Eric, Randy Candy, Randy Chafee. Totally cool. Visiting Durham today. Hey to Duke, John Hall. Okay, cool. Beautiful family. Bart, good morning. Good afternoon, everybody from wherever the hell it is. And... Uh, What do you think, Jen? It's going to need soap. We're going to need soap. Oh, well, we have soap. We're good. Um, but we're conscientious. Dylan from Orlando. Ernest, good morning. Shared. Thank you very kindly. Dan, I enjoy the challenge. Take a deep breath. Make things happen. I concur. And this is what we need to uh, Doug Wing. Good morning. Good morning. From the golf course. Oh, my God. There is a true loyal listener from the golf course. What could be better than that? Come on. Making these little adjustments here. With multiple dogs and kids, I go with Resolve Carb Soda. Well, we don't have that in stock, but we are going to go to Publix today, so we'll be able to get it. Why don't you just leave it alone for the moment? Oh, wow. Well. Wow, we got it. What did you get it with? Oh. <laughs> Doggy pee stuff. There you go. All right. We got it. It's completely out. And the dog is rolling around on the floor. <laughs> Where's my... <laughs> you don't inhale it, Zoe. You just... You don't want to be Bill Clinton. You don't want to inhale. Okay. Um, Frank. Jeffrey, what's the solution for complacency and procrastination? Kick your own ass. The only reason you're complacent... The only reason you procrastinate 
is because you're afraid of the outcome or you don't want to deal with the hassle that the outcome is going to create. We as a society have become so complacent that we become procrastinators because, and then whatever comes after because is bullshit. Uh, my show is on at nine o'clock. I have to deliver this for my kids. I have to, I have to, have to, have to, but it really is not. It's urgent, but not important. So the key for solution, the key solution for complacency is procrastination is do what is important first. Then you can deal with your life. Rich, what's going on? Morning from Beachless Denver. Yeah. We have nice lakes, lakes and major rock formations, but no beach. All right, so Martin, good morning. And uh, Sneed, good morning from LA. Wyatt, good morning. Paul, good morning. People are freaking, come on, they're all over the place. I mean, they're from France, they're from Belgium. Do the hard jobs first, the easy jobs will take care of themselves. Dale Carnegie, that is exactly correct. That is exactly correct. Shared, thank you very kindly. Success is on autopilot, great concept. Steve, cha-cha, <laughs> that's so cool. That's cool, where are you from, Steve? Come on, put it up there. Morning, Jeffrey, good morning, Ken Walls, the great Ken Walls. I mean, he is Mr. Livestream if there ever was one. Henderson, laughing. Riley, the life of Riley. If a man aspires towards a righteous life, his first act of abstinence is from injury to animals. Albert Einstein. Ooh. Healthy choices. Keep your heart healthy. Mary Riley. This is such a great concept, by the way. Quote somebody famous, then quote yourself in the same breath. Boom. Hubs, good morning. Charles, good morning. What do you got, Hubs? Hello, Jeffrey. Kellen, great segment on the Coffee Talk. I'm so happy. Justin, the more relaxed you are, the better you are at everything. The better you are with your loved ones, the better you are with your enemies, the better you are with your job, the better you are with yourself. Bill Murray. Take some Chillax CBD oil and relax all the way to the top, Justin Benton. That's so cool. I think I have some relax. Let me try that. Maybe maybe relax is, I don't know. We'll see. Um, my goal is to select the CBD oil that Justin and I can put out as sales boom, sales boost, sales, whatever we're going to call it. We'll figure it out. Joe Williams is correct about the new normal course. Thank you very kindly, Christopher Campbell. I think I better save that one as well. Isn't it cool how you can save these things? Oh, my God. Hi, Jeff. Good morning, Digital. A probable purchaser will sense a salesperson who is unrelaxed and desperate for a sale. Boom. That is totally 100% true. Uh, we found out about Randy Candy today. I'm so happy. Maybe you can give me a little insight. Back in San Diego, hope everyone is well. We are all fine. I can promise you. Maybe Dawn Soap, maybe <laughs> since it's oil. Oh, my God. Good evening from Australia. I love this. All over the place. Good morning, Charles. Justin, good morning. Almost everything will work again if you unplug it, including you, Fort Lauderdale. This is absolutely true. You ever, um, I, I just love how computers work. You just start them over and all the shit goes away and somehow it like pops up and all your programs are working again. Um, I've only done that about a thousand times. Maybe I don't want it. To, I don't know. CBD oil is like catnip for dogs. Um, that, that makes so total sense. Randy Candy is getting another thank you. This is so good. Hi, Ken. Morning, Weldon. Weldon is here. Weldon, good morning, sir. Nice to see you. Where are you from, Weldon? Ken Walls, good morning, Larry. William, good morning, Lumber. Keeping on my toes, there does not seem to be any let up coming soon. I will relax at the beach this weekend. Boom, probably going to Cape Cod. You know those New England guys, they stick to their own damn beaches. Um, being relaxed gives you calm for them. Whoa, 
Hickey, that's really good. I, I'm saving that. That's really good. Being relaxed gives you calm confidence. That is very well done. Hold on, I forgot to smile. That is very, very well done. That's very, very, very well done. I hate to say it. Oh my gosh. Now, this is really, really good. Wall shares it out. Angela, good morning from Cypress, Texas. We could have used Dawn for dishes. It worked for ducks. Oh my God. Calgary is well represented. <laughs> Both people are here. I think there's three people from Calgary that come on pretty much every day. Happy Triumphant Tuesday. Bruce, this is good. This is really, really good. Phil uh, was very, very nice to me. This guy from Calgary, I, I assume his, his last name is pronounced Gilkus, uh, but it could be Gilks. Um, he sent me an Arson Sweat Martin quote. I tweeted it this morning. Let me get to it for real quick, see if I got it right here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I'm going to go to Twitter as I can read it to you because I, I stumbled on it yesterday. And I don't like stumbling. So um, the first part of success is get to itiveness. The second part of success is stick to itiveness. Arson Sweat Martin, who said that literally, literally more than a hundred years ago. And in my opinion, it is still valid and valuable, maybe even more valuable today than it was. So far, I have four retweets and 11 likes. Why don't you go to my Twitter, at Gittimer, and retweet it. Come on, do it. More than 100 years ago, Arsene Sweat Martin said, the first part of success is get to itiveness. The second part of success is stick to itiveness. That would answer the procrastination program as well. There you go. So, somebody from India is showing up. Oh, Calgary. This is, I'm flying around a small town, of Calgary. This is Calgary. It's like everyone's there. Sending my first hippo video today. Congratulating a customer for producing safe, exciting AVP volleyball event with no spectators and minimum staff. You know, that's phenomenal. Way to go, Jim. Keep it up and keep me posted on hippo. Ken Walls, good evening. <clears throat> John. Closing Business Daily, oh my gosh, name for your new brand. That is pretty damn good. What do you think, Justin? Let's give that a uh, save. CPD, Closing Business Daily, oh my goodness. This, wait, is it? All right. And, uh, oh my gosh, all these people on this show this morning, Phenomenal. Pat Hazel, aha. Relaxed productivity begins with CBD on your carpet. It relaxes your feet so you can walk into better opportunities. Oh my God. You know, Hazel, um, I have to tell you, <laughs> shit happens around this place. We got dogs, we got kids, we got wives, we got husbands, and today we're going to have Soto's. All right, now, move, more stuff. Oh, well, a lot more stuff. Walls, yes, yes. Son of a bitch, everything is real. Ken Walls, Walls Wilson. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, Ken Walls, just a wonderful guy. Just a wonderful guy. Weldon Whitehurst is from Virginia. For those of you who are wondering where he's from, say yes to CBD sales boost so your clients don't say no. Oh, Sneed. Come on. This is it. How do you like that, Jen? What? Close business daily for CBD oil. Oh, that's good. That should be your... Uh, I know. I know. Somebody just suggested it. And then Greg Sneed says, say yes to CBD sales boost so your clients don't say no. Oh, my God. That's so I know. Good. I know. Phenomenal. You guys are on fire. I well, love I it. <laughs> Jenny. Yes, honey. You're the greatest, honey. All right, now. 
This is really, really good. I mean, it's really, really good. Wayne, relax on the golf course. That is exactly correct. No mulligans. No mulligans. Rule of golf, if you're interested, um, if you play golf and you play golf for business, no one wants your coaching, especially if they're shooting well, number one. Number two, they'll never remember the score of the round unless they had a hole in one or the best score they've ever had. But they will always remember that you cheated on the third hole because they're going to perceive that the way you play golf is the way you do business. Take that to the bank or just take an extra stroke or two. It's no big deal. Ernest, yes, this group makes my day. Your willingness to host is unbelievable. You know, I'm just that kind of a guy. I'm just that kind of a guy. And okay, everyone's saying hello to everybody else. I need to come to Utah to play golf with you. Okay, no problem. Confidence, borrowed from Patricia Stark. Okay, cool. Thank you very kindly. And way to acknowledge the writer. Very well done. Good morning, everybody. I better save this because at some point I may write confidence and I want to make sure Patricia Stark is acknowledged. And there you go. And uh, power napping is part of my daily habit of relaxed productivity. It's like getting a second day of work in. I have, uh, I'll wear the shirt tomorrow. Uh, I am a napper myself. I, I have a, I finish a, a talk or I finish a show like this. I'll go for 15 minutes and just kind of redo. No coffee, just redo. Relaxed productivity is like a sniper's heartbeat. It's calm before taking a shot. Oh, my God. Good morning. Good morning to you. And Bart from Belgium, what do you do with those saved screen pictures? I'm going to post them up on the Internet. But I also use them for wisdom, knowledge, and thought. And that's where it goes. Um, I'm going to turn them into a book, make a million dollars. I don't know. Uh, different things will be used for different things. But they're idea sparks for me. Thought sparking. Remember? I own thought sparking. It'll probably be a course. At least a book. How many of you can stay relaxed on the golf course? It's not... It, I never took golf seriously. That's why I was always relaxed. I always just had a good time. Hit the ball in the water? Give a shit. Some people hit the ball in the water. I just, I never cared one way or the other. Yeah. So, Facebook user, the western edge of the house is in Vint Edge. Oh, my gosh. What's happening? Greetings from Peach's Place on the Planet. It's happy to see you. Now Weldon is checking in. He's all over it now. CBD oil is too much to throw on the carpet. I didn't throw it. I spilt it. I, and I only spilt about a third of the bottle. So it's not, it's not like it's death or death wish. Mark, very nice to see you, Mark. The first part of success is actually, is actually suck. So you need to work hard to make this stick out of it. Oh, my gosh. And stick it out until the end. Okay, let me get read it again. The first part of success is actually suck. So you need to work hard and stick at it and stick it out until the end. I'll get it right on the third reading, Hazel. Thank you. All right, Benton. Great live stream last night. Going live with equipment recommendations. Ken Walls. Oh, yeah. Your takeaways will be num be consistent. Share others' posts on social media. Don't link a bunch of people on your posts unless you want to piss them off. <laughs> oh, there you go. Pat Hazel and you want to be my latex salesman. Well, there you go. Um, thank you very kindly. Ken Wall, Jen Rocks, Toru, getting it, letting it go in Tokyo. Um, do you know that my... I don't want to say my, my, my top 10 favorite albums is Cheap Trick live at Budokan. I want you to want me. I mean, it's so good. It's just so good. Rick Nielsen, one of the great guitar players of all time. 
I'm just saying. That's all. I mean, is he David Gilmour? They play different guitar. Is is I don't. I have my favorites. I'll just say that. And um, who's your favorite guitar player? That's what I want to know. Who is it? Is it Mark Knopfler? Mine is. <laughs> uh, favorite guitar, lead guitar player. Come on. And they all play the same guitar. They all play Les Paul Gibson in one thing or another. Except I don't think, I, I'm sure Knopfler plays it, but I don't know. If you're not having fun out on the golf course, go do something else. Learn to appreciate being in the great outdoors and chasing a white ball. I totally concur. And golfers call it the little white ball. Shit, it's like they're chasing their, I don't know, Eddie Van Halen? No way. Not that good. It's just not that good. I mean, come on. It's, he's had guitarists that were better than him. David Lee Roth. Hmm. Uh, or uh, uh, the, I'll think of his name in a second. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The wild guy. Uh, Tommy Emmanuel. Mm, okay. Hazel, another great word is familiar from Joey Roman's Thinking for a Living. Worthy read. A worthy read. Familiar. Wow. And all of a sudden, people are like posting, like, boom, 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 boom. Jimi Hendrix. Steve Jones of the Sex Pistols. Peter Frampton is awesome. I flew next to Peter Frampton one night, coming back from someplace I don't know. But it was at the height of his career. And uh, we're both in first class. And I am I turn around to him and I go, do you play guitar? He goes, yeah. I said, you Frampton? He goes, yeah. I made him sign a couple things. Got to roll, everybody. OK, you got to roll. Go, go, go. Got to roll. You got to roll. Um, I sell golf balls. Dylan from Orlando. Cool. Uh, Tommy Shaw sticks. Man, everybody has an opinion. Stevie Ray Vaughan, goat. Maybe. I, I'm, I don't know. Pink Floyd just rocked my world. And you watch how these guys play guitar. Dire Straits rock my world. You watch how these guys play guitar. They're just, they're unbelievable. They're natural. But James Burton, for those of you that are uninformed, James Burton, who was Elvis Presley's guitar player, plays on uh, Black and White Night with Roy Orbison. If you have never seen that, you got to just download it somehow. Black and White Night, the last live concert of Roy Orbison. It's got Jackson Brown. It's got Bruce Springsteen singing Back Up. It's one of the most amazing video sets ever done. Elvis Costello, Bonnie Raitt, uh, Jennifer Warrens. I mean, just, I mean, imagine Jackson Brown in the chorus behind the band. Um, Sammy Hagar, Santana. Okay, Santana, I go. But, you know, this is, I, I love this. I love, yeah, Knopfler. Knopfler, local hero. He's like, he's a great... Unbelievable guitar player. Unbelievable guitar player. Oh, Mark Knopfler. Yeah. Mark Knopfler is brilliant. Leroy Emanuel. Everyone has their, okay. Ken Walls, the greatest guitar player of all time. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he's an eagle. Yeah. Joe Walsh. I've seen Joe. I, I actually hired Joe Walsh one night. Justin Benton. David Gilmore. Yeah. Way underrated. Just released a single with his family backing him up. Google it. Uh, Zoe is a favorite guitar player, but she's only speaking bark at the moment, so I can't really get down to who it is. Love so many, but a current is Joe Bonsamassa, who is great. Yeah. Okay. Chet Atkins. Hmm. Playing with Mark Knopfler. Imagination. Yep, yep. My pick, more with friendship, what happened? This is cool. Very well said, Robert. Very well said, Robert. 
Stratocaster, yeah, that Mark Loffler, Mark Knopfler played the Stratocaster. Axel Rose, I don't agree. Hey, Justin Benton, l listen, you guys. Um, I'm going to go with Mark Knopfler, although I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with Mark Knopfler, but I'm second on David Gilmore. <sighs> so there. And Roy Wood. If you, Roy Wood played with the move before they became ELO, go look at any Roy Wood guitar solo from early move. He's unbelievable. Um, there's a song, a British song called Brontosaurus that the move came out with. It was number one, Top of the Pops. At the end of that song, Roy Wood hits Om um, on the guitar. Try it. Brontosaurus, the move. Do, 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 do. It has three gears. It has literally goes first gear, second gear, third gear in that rock song. And it's so, so damn good. It was number one, top of the pops. Now, today is an unbelievable day for you. I'm going to ask you to use hippo video.com. You can see that some people are already using it and it's happening for them. So, why aren't you? And the answer is because you haven't downloaded the free version yet. Because it'll, you could do it for seven days for nothing. Why the hell would you not do that? I don't know. I don't know. Prince. Oh, yeah, Prince. Yeah, Prince. I mean, come on. This is, uh, people are pretty smart guitar player wise. Gilmore, thumbs up and listening to a lot of us. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, just amazing. Um, if you want to look for early um, heavy metal guys, Robin Trower from Procol Harum, amazing guitar player. Mick Ronson, David Bowie, amazing guitar player. But I got to give the edge to Mark Knopfler. He's just unbelievable. He is a virtuoso. Therefore, we're going to end on I am the Sultan. I'm the Sultan of Sales. I'm Jeffrey Gittimer. Thank you very much for being here. I will see you tomorrow morning at 9.59 a.m. with the great...